Tony Blair has been awarded a knighthood in the New Year's Honours list. This ought to be the pinnacle of a career which has seen three election wins for a previously unelectable Labour Party. The boy done good. He did so well. But unfortunately, this decision has been received coolly by the British public since it was announced. In fact, the decision to knight Tony Blair has proved more unpopular than James Blunt's latest album. Line of Duty's season finale. And James Corden's disturbing performance in the film adaptation of Cats. But it seems the biggest pussy of all is our Tony, as over a million people sign a petition to have the knighthood reversed. So what's gone so wrong for this permatanned ex-premier? I wonder if it's his decision to take us into an illegal war with Iraq that saw the death of hundreds of allied servicemen and women and thousands of Iraqi civilians. Perhaps those signing this petition had taken a cursory glance at the Chilcot inquiry, which deemed the grounds for war to be flaky at best. Perhaps others are worried about a prime minister that effectively sowed the seeds of Brexit by needlessly lifting immigration rules when countries in the Eastern Bloc joined the EU, something that didn't need to happen and which many think was motivated by a desire on the part of our Tony to eventually become president of Europe. Perhaps those signing the petition will cite the fact that the financial markets were left unregulated on his watch, helping to precipitate the credit crunch, a sovereign debt crisis and one of the biggest economic downturns in living memory. Don't forget one outgoing Treasury minister from the Labour Party, Liam Byrne, on departing office, wrote this note to the incoming coalition government. He wrote, sorry, there's no money left. Perhaps those signing the petition noted that Tony Blair didn't build enough houses and squandered a decade of economic growth, whilst astonishingly his partner in crime next door, Gordon Brown, actually borrowed money as the economy grew. Explain that one to me. Perhaps those signing the petition remember that Tony Blair pushed for Britain's membership of the euro. He wanted the euro, a measure that would have seen us powerless to intervene in our economy in the way that we did in 2010. What about letting scores of terrorists escape justice in Northern Ireland? Perhaps those signing the petition are former Labour voters confused that this iconic socialist appears to have been focused on making tens of millions of pounds since his departure from office. It seems even the Queen isn't that much of a fan, given that she's waited over a decade to bestow this honour. So Tony Blair gets a knighthood, but he doesn't get what he really wants which is popularity, respect and a positive legacy following three terms in office. Sadly, no amount of lipstick will make a pig pretty. You can't polish a turd. And no amount of titles or fancy decorations on your lapel will make you a great prime minister. Which is why Tony Blair, sorry, Sir Tony, we feel your pain. <laughs>